I was on my balcony, basically. I live just um, a few steps away from La Rambla, so I was on my balcony when it happened, and there was just a lot of movement and a lot of people um, running down my street and down La Rambla, people picking each other up, a lot of elderly people being picked up and kids as well. And it was, I don't know, a lot of people running over each other, and uh, it was a chaotic scene. Yeah, scenes of panic, people running over. But did you see uh, the van drive down the street or was it more the chaos after after the fact? The chaos, yeah, after a while it was happening, I'm not quite sure. I think it was about a block away from where I live. So um, I think and I didn't see exactly when the van hit, but uh, yeah, I saw the, the chaos afterwards. And right now, what's the atmosphere like where you are? Is it deserted? Is it cordoned off? Uh, what's the situation? It's completely blocked off. Um, there is, a, I guess, like a SWAT team on my below my door, and they are, I guess, waiting orders. And there is a lot of um, ambulances as well that were rushing down. And while it happened, uh, La Rambla was cleared pretty quickly by also um, local people and also, I guess, tourists trying to help out so that the police and the ambulance could go down La Rambla as fast as they could. And now uh, it's cut off basically from um, half of my street is, is, is cut off and then there's just police on the, on the main side of La Rambla kind of uh, blocking it off and waiting, waiting to see. Indeed, and we can see some pictures of those crowds being evacuated a little earlier from that uh, region. But Valerie, give us an idea for those of us who don't know Barcelona, who haven't lived there, what kind of a neighbourhood is it? Um, El Gotico is basically uh, known for a lot of tourist attractions and La Rambla being the biggest of them all. So there were obviously a lot of tourists at the time. And um, yeah, it was, if anything, they wanted, if they wanted to get tourists or a lot of people, it was let's say, the, the best place that they could have gone because it's always full no matter the time of day because it's um, having restaurants and bars and a lot of uh, gift shops so a lot of tourists go there as well as the local people because it's a popular um, street to go down from one place or another in Barcelona. So it's always, always busy. Indeed, and I believe this incident happened roughly around 5 p.m. local time. Uh, Valerie, how long have you lived in Barcelona? You know, what's the atmosphere like normally? It, it, did you always feel secure? And, you know, certainly how are you feeling this evening? Um, I just recently moved here, actually, around two weeks ago. So I was just kind of getting acclimated to the area. But generally, it's, it's quite fine. I mean, we have tourists all the time around and... It's, it's a friendly atmosphere, more or less, and, and I don't know, nothing like this would have ever been expected. And Well, now, obviously, I'm a little bit shook, uh, and I'm just wondering now what's going to happen, because I've also heard on the news that the person has not yet um, been caught, and there's also apparently a hostage situation uh, at a restaurant not too far from where I live as well. So, I don't know, yeah, it's, it's, it's deserted now, but... <laughs> There was a lot of commotion earlier. So. And I imagine you're, you're safely at home watching those media reports. Have you heard from anybody else you know across the city? Is there more information, you know, people calling each other or any more details? As you say, on these reports that there is still a, an ongoing situation and, and a gunman perhaps uh, yes. up in a bar. Yeah, of course. Um, I also now wrote some friends and some roommates. And, um, well, my roommates that live here, they cannot come home now because it's completely blocked off. There's no way to leave or enter uh, the street where I'm living, and I'm guessing around La Rambla as well. So I guess most people who are living in this area have to stay at work until further notified. And also all the restaurants and bars and uh, shops are all... Um, Close down with the gates in front. There's nothing, nobody going in or out. So, yeah. OK, well, Valérie Bergeron, thanks so much for taking time to speak with us. And do uh, stay home and stay safe. Uh, I imagine, like us, you'll be keeping a close eye on that developing situation. 